Uh, thank you, Chair. Uh, so, John, our select committee has um, received a considerable amount of evidence about the burden of business rates uh, on retailers and their uneven impact, um, for example, on the bricks and mortar retailers vis-à-vis -vis the online retailers. Did you also gather evidence on this? And if so, what conclusions did you draw? Well, first of all, that was specifically not in my brief mm -hmm. because it's a Treasury matter and not for, for this department. So, that, so I was told right at the beginning, although I, I expressed the view quite clearly that I, I did have views on it and I would want to express them, but I was told just hang on a minute, this is not, this, this is out of our area. Um, but I did, a, a number of the letters, emails I got uh, were li specifically on that subject. So, so the, the reason why you didn't decide to tackle business rates in your report is simply because it was outside of the parameters um, correct. Yeah. Correct. Uh, but given that you know you've got this uh, public platform now, what are your views on business rates? Okay. Um, I think that it is quite clearly the right thing for government to do to level the playing field between bricks and mortar retailers and internet retailers. Uh, there is far too much of an advantage on uh, internet shopping. Uh, I'm not too sure whether it's because they don't, can't find a way to do it. Yeah. I think it's very simple. Uh, I think you just do it by, by uh, clearing away the business rates and putting it onto VAT. So that, completely get rid of all business rates? In simple terms. I know it can't be. I mean, but that's the, that should be the direction of travel. And so, therefore, you're getting every retailer paying the same rate of tax. Okay. Uh, but um, I have to say that in terms of being a major thing, which is the wonderful answer to the future of, of, of the high street, that won't be the case. Because what you're doing, it, it, you're being fair, you're going to reduce the amount of uh, business rates, which will help companies probably survive longer. Yeah. But it's not going to change the fact that the high street's changing. Mm -hmm. And that will continue but at least that's fair. Uh, I think there's a much more serious issue, actually, which is uh, looking at uh, some of the internet players themselves and the way they're going about growing their businesses. And uh, the fact that there is price, they're doing a lot of that uh, at no profit. Mm -hmm. They're grabbing big slices of the market uh, with what I would call predatory pricing. And I think that if you project forward, and if you take, for instance, Amazon's been going for 24 years, if you went forward another 24 years and say, what's the market going to be like then? I think we've got a really serious issue to tackle. And I don't think enough in... I'm not aware of people taking enough serious interest in thinking about that. Okay, thank you very much.